Hey, my Starry Den says happy Thanksgiving. And everybody else, I guess, happy Black Friday. <laughs> so I'm gonna be cooking up a big meal for us today, but first we're gonna clean up the van and then we're gonna get cooking. Danny just went to the skate park, so he's gonna enjoy his time. So this is their second Thanksgiving cooking in the van with just Danny and I. Luckily, every other Thanksgiving that we had, we were able to have it with family because we were in the US, but last year we were in Mexico. <laughs> we'll tell you more about that later. So this is our stove top oven. It's called an Omnia, and we use it to roast, to bake. It does anything that a normal oven does. We got it off of Amazon. So it works by the flame going through the center of the Omnia, and with the top, it'll circulate through and heat everything. I roasted this garlic in the Omnia. I put some oil on it. And now that it's all it's all soft, so now you, I should be able to just squeeze the garlic out. I actually saw this on Instagram, and I thought, oh my gosh, that looks so delicious. I'm squeezing the garlic out into this little container, and then I'm gonna mix it with a vegan margarine. So I'll just take some margarine and put this in there, and then I'm going to put onto the pieces of bread that I'm that I'll toast so I can make some really tasty garlic bread. So this is gonna be the start to my stuffing. I wasn't able to find stovetop, so I'm going to have to make the stuffing by scratch with regular bread. <laughs> so I'm also gonna use these wild looking carrot things. They're basically just like carrots. They taste the same as carrots. So I'm just gonna throw some of these into my stuffing. All right, almost done with dinner. I'm just gonna get changed and we'll be ready to eat. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving! I made this whole big meal with our two burner stove. <laughs> We've got mashed potatoes. These mashed potatoes are actually made from uh, criollo potatoes. So they're a little bit, they're pretty small and they're really buttery and yellow. So these mashed potatoes are gonna be super tasty. I don't think I've ever even tried them, I'm excited. Yeah, I made stuffing, I couldn't find stove top. Wasn't a big deal because we got this really, really nice baguette. I made roasted soy sauce broccoli and then also some uh, maple syrup carrots with thyme. We have our you know main part which is the faux turkey and another main part is this super nice roasted garlic butter bread that I made and then toasted. Oh I'm so excited to try this it should be super tasty. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Well done. Well, luckily we have a ton of this roasted garlic butter, so I'll be making this a lot. <laughs> yeah, we have all this vegan food here, and here we are drinking some kombucha. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, babe. Happy Thanksgiving. Cheese. <laughs> mm. Oh. Super buttery. Super Did you add a lot of butter or no? I added a little bit of butter. They taste like a good flavor. They have like mm -hmm. a different flavor. Mm -hmm. It's almost buttery. It's like uh, rich. Yeah, they're super, super mm. tasty. Oh, man, you put the chives in there? Mm-hmm. Oh. Emily's Irish, so mm. make some good mashed potatoes. <laughs> With Colombian mashed potatoes this time, mm. I like the twist. Stuffing is always like a weird food. I like it. But you never used to like it. Yeah, when I was a kid. That was good stuffing. All made in a bit. Yeah. I guess stuffing isn't really usual for other people. So, it is super weird. It's just mushy stale bread. You did really well, babe. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna try the turkey. Looks a lot like turkey. Mmm. <laughs> I really like that. Yeah. It tastes just like turkey. It does. It tastes really good. <laughs> we're gonna have some really, really good leftovers. Babe, well done. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Awesome, awesome dinner. So I thought we could chat about where we were last year on Thanksgiving. Do you remember where we were? One year ago, do I remember where I was? <laughs> I have no way. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I had to guess, I know we entered Guatemala after Thanksgiving. So we were in Mexico, we were in Chiapas, or we were in Oaxaca? Oaxaca. Mm, Oaxaca City, 5,000 feet elevation. I remember now. Yeah. We FaceTimed family for like mm -hmm. two hours that day. 
<laughs> Used up my old data plan, but it was cool. Yeah. And um, remember we had a spot at the like mirador of the city. So people were kept coming and coming and like they had no idea what we were doing, but we were having like Thanksgiving dinner. And there was people outside of the van taking pictures of themselves with the van as the backdrop. Yeah, that's right. I got a picture of a guy taking a picture with the van, you know. Actually, I think the flash turned on. You remember that? <laughs> Last year for Christmas, we were in Guatemala mm -hmm. when we also had a really good view. That was the best because they were also celebrating with us. So we had a really nice meal. And then, as soon as it got dark out, we, we walked over to the mirror door and we saw thousands and thousands of fireworks going off. It was amazing. We were in Quetzaltenango or Shela, Guatemala. The fireworks got louder and louder until midnight. At midnight, all of a sudden, when you looked across the city of Quetzaltenango or, or Shela, just the most fireworks I have ever seen at once in my life. The entire city was in on it. It was amazing. It was amazing. Because this was also mid-pandemic, basically. So just to see, like, you know, kind of people saying happy, Merry Christmas to people that they haven't been able to talk to is really, really cool. Yeah, it was actually a little rough, you know, because of the pandemic, mm -hmm. nobody was supposed to travel home and everything. Yeah, we didn't this have the year, vaccine yet. Yeah, and this year, you know, we have the vaccine and we've decided to go home for Christmas to my home. <laughs> it's just rough having Christmas without family. Mm -hmm. So... This year, we're definitely gonna hit up Spokane and yeah. have a nice Christmas dinner with everybody and really excited for that. It was beautiful seeing those fireworks though, don't get me wrong. We aren't gonna miss out on Christmas in Colombia because they are already setting up everything for Christmas right now and it's only Thanksgiving. <laughs> mm. I think my favorite is these carrots. Yeah? Oh, these other things are other kind of carrots? Yeah, those are those purple, oh, white yeah. carrots. Those things are weird. I mean, they're tasty, but they look so crazy. Yeah, these are my favorite carrots whenever I was growing up, too. Mm -hmm. Brown sugar carrots. Mm. It's basically a dessert. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could have just used vanilla. And speaking of being with family, another little van life update is that my mom is going to visit. I'm so excited. Yeah, me too. She's actually the number one visitor for us. She's visited us, this will be the third time, mm -hmm. but the first time was way up in Alaska, Denali National Park, we went around, and Costa Rica was the second. We thought, I can't believe how far apart those two times you visited us. <laughs> and this time she's visiting us in Colombia, so it just feels even better. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're gonna just show around Bogota, do some really cool stuff that everybody should do, and try and pack it in like a normal vacation for Tanya, so mm -hmm. it'll be fun. We have to take her to a paramo. There is a paramo pretty close, I guess. Chingasa. I wonder if she'll have any problem with the altitude. Probably. Well, she's a nurse, so she'll probably bring the right medication or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to bring a couple gifts for some Rita. <laughs> All right, let me get these plates. Our van even has a garbage disposal. OK. <laughs> Check out this Santa hat. My grandma made this, mi abuela. She's from Spain. This is a hand knit. Santa hat. I'm gonna make us a little warm drink, Colombia style. Check this out. Okay, we're gonna make some canelatos. This is a nice typical drink here in Colombia and it's a good after dinner warm drink. So the first ingredient is panela. We start with an agua panela, which this is actually sugar cane uh, concentrate. All right, now we got our panela. So I'll add that to the cups. We'll shut it off down here. Throw the hot water. And this is a really popular drink in high elevations. Having high calories is really good for your body. It works harder up in these high altitudes. This part here is a very traditional Colombian liquor. So we're gonna use our shot glass from the north end, the Pan American Highway. You know, let's just do one shot each, I suppose. Yeah. The last ingredient is cinnamon. All right, well, while those cool down, we even got these uh, holiday cookies here. <laughs> so boom, 
You want to try a holiday cookie? Mm-hmm. And then they also have these box of chocolates. So we're living large, having a good Thanksgiving over here. <laughs> you want to try one, babe? Uh, yeah. Grab one. <laughs> I'm taking this one. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's see how this turned out. Should be cooling off. <laughs> That's delicious, babe. Good canyalasa. Ooh. It's pretty good. I'll put some more penel. Okay. <laughs> stir, stir, stir. Canyalasos. It's not an onion. I keep thinking it's canyalaso. I know, canyalaso, but that's how they said it, right? I guess they were saying canelazo. Canelazo. Well, canelazo. That's it. That's the recipe. Perfect amount of panela, canela, aguardiente. Oh, that is so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't tell you the measurements, but you know, if it's not sweet enough, put some more of that sugar in there. I never really liked anise, but mixed in here with the... I can barely taste it, so I'm happy. That's cool. <laughs> This this hour to the end they will take forever to drink because of the we're only gonna have it with canalasos. Maybe my mom likes it. Mm hmm <laughs> Maybe she likes licorice. Yeah. Black licorice flavor. It's nice here in Colombia using the local ingredients. They're crazy about the panela. Yeah, crazy. Actually that whole brick of panela that um that we have was given to us by someone um that we met. Mm-hmm. That's For free. Yeah. We were talking about how that was one of the things I want to show my mom is make her, you know, a canna lasso for whenever she gets in because that's very Colombian and very high altitude Colombian and he was like, oh, do you have panela yet? Like, and just gave us this whole brick of panela. Okay. We all done? So here's one of our favorite traveling geography games where we also get some major travel stoke in. My dad gave us the thousand places to go before you die book. So what we do is open it to a random page and then we read the title and the description and the other person has to try and guess which country it is or if it's the US, which state. Emily's idea to create this game. The continent's most famous market town. The oldest, best known and most important Indian market in blank continent takes place every Saturday high in the I'll say it, high in the Andes <laughs> <laughs> oh it, uh, it's for real mm, guess again Ecuador boom this is a market Otavalo in Ecuador my turn I'm gonna guess it like immediately Matobo National Park Huge granite ma masses seem split, shaped, and sculpted by time and the elements to form an array of giant whalebacks, fanciful castles, and knobbly outcrops that extend for thousands of miles through the Tobo Hills. What? This I'm gonna say India? No. Is it an island? No. This bizarre landscape so bewitched Cecil J. Rhodes, after whom this country took its former name of what it used to be called. <laughs> really? Rhodes? Caesar? Caesar? Cecil. 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 He arranged to be buried there. Road, road no Gansha. one. <laughs> um, oh yeah, kind of. Is this No one leaves Rodan. the park. Is this uh, uh, Greece? No. Ooh, close? No. Oh man, turkey. <laughs> turkey for Thanksgiving. No one leaves the park without spending an awe-inspiring moment at the site of this hillside grave. Kenya. No, but you're very close. Tanzania. Libya. No. The area has... Give me some landmarks, <laughs> what? <laughs> the area has deservedly been considered a center of spiritual power since the hunters and gatherers decorated their homes with rock and art 30,000 years ago. South Africa. No. Many paintings... Got, uh, Somalia. No. Depict the black and white rhinos that still live Egypt. here in green <laughs> mm. So do leopards. Cheetahs. So it's definitely Africa though. We can... Yes. Okay, okay. Yes, you got the con. Cheetahs. God, why do we only have Central America? <laughs> 300 species of birds including the world's largest number of raptors, eagles, hawks, and owls. Morocco. I tried to cheat. I tried to cheat. Egypt. I, I give up. I give up. Uh, what is Zimbabwe. It? Oh, I was starting with the A's and I was going for <laughs> Oh, 
good. The name Halhale Himal. India. Very close. Astounding scenery above the clouds. Oh, Tibet. Close. Um, Adventures arrived in mass since the 1960s have indelibly Burma? altered Burma? the country's most popular treks. But unforgettable hill cultures and breathtaking scenery. Oh, uh, Mongolia. Mm, go back to Tibet. <laughs> um, Myanmar? Highland. I don't know. Tibet touches India, doesn't it? Well, actually, there's. Oh, there's one country more country. There. Yeah. Oh, we even looked at it before. Ugh. The Halhale Himal High Ridge Trek in Eastern Da 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 <laughs> remains. Indonesia. Something of a hidden jewel, a offering some of the most pristine wilderness in the Himalayas today. Give up? Yeah. You can't win Nepal. Nepal! <laughs> Yeah, right. One side of Everest is, mm -hmm. is Tibet, owned by China now, and on the other side is Nepal. Yeah. The largest of these islands is also one of the most fascinating. It's the birthplace of the Minoan culture, Europe's first advanced civilization. Island, you said? Yes. Cyprus. No. Crete. Yeah. Virgin Sands. The U.S. So Virgin Crete. Islands. Oh, wow. St. Yeah. Thomas. Nagan's Bay Beach. Much has been made of the fact that National Geographic magazine voted Nagan's Bay one of the world's most beautiful beaches. Nagan's Bay. Yeah, hey, you've been there? No, I haven't. Well, for a second. Oh, you flew to St. Thomas and went to... Another island. Yeah, St. Yeah. John. Oh, St. John. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll get this one right from the name. Spacanopoli. Greece. Spacanopoli. Italy. Spacanopoli. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, you just said Italy. Yeah. <laughs> Viking skiing from shit. Norway, Sweden. Yes, Norway. Yes, next. Ellerman House and Mount Nelson Hotel. Oh. Rhode Island. No. Sitting high on a hill in Bantry Bay and enjoying the views of what must have been one of Canada? the most beautiful coastlines in the world, the Ellerman House is this country's finest boutique hotel. South Africa. Wow, good job. That was good. How'd you get that? Big brain. <laughs> Obrikes of more than two million pounds of spindly legged blue crabs annually harvested near this bay. A great Maine, North Carolina. Where do they have all the blue Rhode crabs? Island. Near Philly. Where do you go again? Maryland. Get... Yep, Maryland. Baltimore. <laughs> we had blue crabs in North Carolina. Remember we went to that yeah. place called You Got Crab or We Got Crabs? <laughs> we got your crabs. One last one from the book. <laughs> this will be unedited. Complete truth. How she does here. Pressure is on. Stowe Mountain Resort. It's in Vermont. We stay there <laughs> with the van. Babe. You learn a bit about the world with the van, don't you? Yeah, yeah. We've gone a lot of places in this thing. Well, that's all from us. Let me know your favorite Thanksgiving dish in the comments. I want to know all about the different things that everybody makes for Thanksgiving. From our home to yours, happy holidays. See ya.